Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. Hope all is well. In this video, we are going to look at simplifying a ratio of linear polynomials, uh, one and negative one and no simplification. All right, so for each expression, simplify if possible. If applicable, click on cannot be simplified. All right, so we have in the first one negative two plus u and u minus two. Uh, so first of all, let's rearrange those to where the variables are in the same place, same order. So in the numerator, let's flip that around and make it positive u minus 2 and then over u minus 2. So you see if we flip that around, then we have like binomials there that are being divided and anything divided by itself is positive 1. So I just reverse that order instead of negative 2 plus u, I made it positive u minus 2. All right, and our denominator here, I mean, not denominator, in the second problem, we'll call it part A and part B. We have, in part B, we have 4U plus 3 over 3U plus 4. Well, if we just even look here, those are completely different. We have 4 times U and 3 times U, and then 3 and 4, those are completely different. We cannot simplify that at all. So that would be cannot be simplified. I'm going to add a part C here. In part C, we have negative x plus 7 and x minus 7. So we have the exact same binomials, except the signs are the exact opposite. So on the x in my numerator is negative, but in my denominator is positive. On the 7 in my numerator is positive, but in my denominator is negative or minus. So since the signs were the exact opposite, what would happen if I factor out a negative 1 from negative x plus 7? What happens if I factor out a negative 1? Let's see here. So if I divide these by negative 1, then that makes x positive and that makes 7 negative or minus. So now I have negative 1 times x minus 7 over x minus 7. So when those signs are the exact opposite, look and see what happens if we factor out a negative 1. That would allow me to simplify or cancel those binomials and I would be left with negative 1. So if you have the exact same terms but the signs are the exact opposite, then uh, when you divide those by each other you would end up with negative 1. Alrighty, good people, that's all for this objective. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.